New at 9 RTD still working to make metro area train and bus stations safer for commuters. A pilot program begins tonight to crack down on illegal activities. Fox 31 Shaw Turner is live at Union Station with those details. Shaw. Yeah, you know, Kim, I would not have gone live here outside of the Chestnut Pavilion about a year ago, but look at what the anti-crime initiative has accomplished. There's increased security, there's better lighting outside, better landscaping, and now the focus is on elevators, other places in the metro area. Yeah, it was, a, it was rough for sure. RTD writers putting up with drug related crime and violence. <laughs> the problem solvers found at least 178 passenger reports of assault or injury in 2021 and the first two months of 2022. This man who frequents the Union Station stop tells Fox 31 many illegal activities take place in closed elevators. People be smoking fentanyl in them. Now, RTD has a plan to reduce the risk by reprogramming elevators so they stay open when not in use. The pilot program will include two high traffic stations at Southmore and Nine Mile. Um, I think that's awesome. RTD issued a statement saying since January 2022, RTD has had a laser focus on creating a welcoming transit environment that yields a pleasant and seamless customer experience. Some have doubts. If the elevators were open more, do you think it would cut down on the drug use? Mm -mm, no. But others say it's a step in the right direction. I really do care about the safety of people coming, especially because, you know, a lot of kids are traveling. Yes, and RTD will continue this pilot program for 90 days. Then they'll compare a lot of the customer feedback they get compared to before the program started until its end. Shaw Turner reporting live, Fox 31.